Hello, my name is Alexio, and today we're going to be talking about Cleo Trappa and Ice Spice. Cleo Trappa, a popular social media personality and an up-and-coming rapper, posted a five-part video series detailing her experience as an opener on Ice Spice's Y2K tour. Cleo and Ice Spice have been an inseparable pair ever since Ice blew up two years ago, but this tour has led to them falling out and Ice Spice being exposed yet again. The full story has a lot of details and important points, but to save time, I'll give you a brief synopsis of what went down and what led to the demise of Cleo and Ice's friendship. It all started when Ice Spice invited Cleo to join her on the Y2K tour at the end of July as an opener. Cleo was only given a day's notice and only one day to prepare, and despite everything Cleo had going on for her, like her boyfriend, her music career, and her other opportunities, she signed on anyways because Ice assured her that everything would be covered since she was with her. So Cleo went on the tour and everything was going smoothly for a couple of shows until the show in Philly, where things started to go downhill. A situation occurred where Cleo had to carry her own bags when they were leaving the concert venue because Ice Spice's security refused to. And Cleo brought this issue up to Ice and Ice felt that her security didn't have to carry anything extra even though Cleo had only two bags. Cleo called her out on this and from that point moving forward, there were a lot of slick things that Ice Spice and her team would try to do to demean and humiliate Cleo. For instance, Cleo wasn't given a room to change and she had to do her costume changes in random bathrooms and corners, instead of a dressing room that was given to every other special guest on the tour but her. She wasn't allowed to bring anybody with her to the tour unless she paid for their transportation and their hotel, so she was basically on her own. One time, Cleo had left her tote bag on Ice's couch inside of her room, and after an hour when she returned, her bag was purposely left outside of the room, and as a result, someone used Cleo's bank card, and they purchased $700 worth of luxury items. But luckily, Cleo was able to dispute the transaction and recoup her money. The blatant disregard for Cleo and her belongings was a massive red flag and very unprofessional, but it gets worse. Cleo was expected to pay for her own hotel rooms despite Ice saying that she would cover everything. Keep in mind that Cleo is an independent artist and she doesn't have the means to stay in five-star hotels on every stop, so she had to resort to staying in rooms with Ice's hairstylist who was kind enough to share her space. Her and the hairstylist befriended each other and it made the tour bearable for a while. There was another incident where the crew was in between stops, specifically in between Texas and Mexico. Cleo and Ice's hairstylist hadn't eaten that whole day because they were in the middle of nowhere and there weren't any places to dine besides a McDonald's that was an 8 minute walk away. They were in a desert and an unknown area, but the tour crew refused to accompany Cleo and the hairstylist to the fast food place, so they went without food. And on top of that, Cleo finds out later that the entire crew already ate at a steakhouse with the exception of her, the hairstylist, and the makeup artist. So they were basically treating Cleo like she was a worker, not someone who was a major part of the production, but as a background person or the help. All of these experiences built up, and when Cleo finally decided to address Ice Spice after the tour, she was met with complete apathy and nonchalance. So naturally, they had a falling out and Cleo came on TikTok to air her grievances. I definitely left out a couple details, but the full videos and story can be found online. Personally, this situation has turned me completely off of Ice Spice. Her behavior towards Cleo was unacceptable and vile considering that she is supposed to be her best friend. Everything about it gave Mean Girl, and Ice Spice is not talented enough, nor is she famous enough to warrant her actions. She is losing thousands of followers per day, not just because of this situation, but because her album was genuinely terrible, she's always in some mess, and she's not trendy anymore. She is an example of a meme or a trend that has overstayed its welcome, and it won't be long before she completely fizzles out. I was willing to give her the benefit of the doubt because she made a couple bops and her branding was fun, but other than that, 
she's really not that good of an artist. Her music is stagnant and the quality is declining with every release and she's basically clinging on to relevancy and the situation did not help. Those were my thoughts on the Cleo and I Spice drama. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Make sure you like the video, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Bye!